who this guy is? You're like seven this guy. spinning rods on the Fast table. Fast talk live. You were talking about the spinning rods. Oh man, dude, I was using He's the wrong lot. one. Yeah, sometimes yeah. you might be reeling and backwards. That was like a smallmouth crush guy. Right. Like, boom! Fast action, right? Oh man. With the tube. Here, let's get a selfie. All right, yeah, this you want to? Dude, this is going on Twitter. You know it. Yeah, mm. that logo, man. Every time I see it, I'm like, yes. Yeah. Smallmouth <laughs> Crush just dropped some new material. That's right. Hell I'm up yeah. to. Uh, I think we're at like 52 subs now. Really? I just sold my place on Falcon. I'm moving up to Erie. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> All right, guys. We're at the Mercury booth, starting out, waiting for the big show. That's right. Day one happens today around what three o'clock four o'clock yeah we have to get uh we're gonna be handing out thunder sticks a little later and we have a bunch of really neat little things oh in store. we got some big things big in store. things so let's check out some of the stuff here uh, let's let's talk to liam first and uh, they got all kinds of crazy stuff here Go. Oh, look who we got What's here. Up, man? Hey, how you doing? What's up, man? Good, yeah. man. good, good, good. Hey, good. Doing Neil Stockton, Stacey, yeah. What's going on? Well, we're just trying to do a little filming, getting things going, right? You're always jiggling that thing, man. Really? No. It's, it's, all, it's, it's all bad. It's all something we need. <laughs> all right. We're here with Lance Stringer, Impulse Rods, Magnolia, man. Texas. <laughs> coming out with their new energy rods. These things are so lightweight. Felt it. Lightweight. Nice guides on them things. Nice ceramic inserts on the guides, man. Good wooden handles, forked handles. These things are flexible, flimsy. Can't break them at a reasonable price. Can't beat the price, man. Check them out, Impulse Rods, Lance Stringer. Tell them I sent you. You won't be disappointed. We'll take 40 of them. That sounds great. <laughs> What you think of this legend there? Hmm? And then we got the man. How you doing? Good, good, good. How you doing, buddy? Not bad. This is one badass looking legend, huh? So's that one. All right, we're back. Don't get so close to me. <laughs> Who do we talk to? Randy, you ready for this? 61 followers? Yeah, we gotta go to the YouTube channel, boys. Come on. Alright, not so close, it's on one. Let's go. Are you in here? Stay in. We got people getting in. He sees me. <laughs> He's avoiding me right now. Alright, we're at the power pool booth. How do you even start? We're starting right now, okay? We have a great time with these guys. They're a little camera shy. I don't know what else to say. Zoom in on stuff here. All right. Yeah, you're on. We got to talk about Power Pole. Where are you going? I'll get out of the way. Come on. You're in on this. All right. So we're at Power Pole. Talk to me. Nobody wants to talk to me. They're all avoiding me. <laughs> quick inter a quick interview. Chris? Yep. You got a sec? Yes, absolutely. All right, here we go. Always have Chris Lane always has second. I want to know your craziest things ever happened on the water. Oh like man, crazy, like a like a, just a crazy story. You know, it'd have to be coming completely out of the water in my boat and being out of the water for probably about, I'd say five seconds. Uh, St. Clair coming back under the bridge. Right. It was rough. I think they have and pictures of you. Literally <laughs> sat down so soft and so easy, and I was prepared to get annihilated and it was a it was the wildest thing literally felt like i was a bird for a minute right right i think we have pictures on that on bassmaster right you could yes perfect he's not out of it no not at all he's got a job too uh, what do you want me to ask you so what are you doing here key all right here we yeah. go all right so so we just check it out trite boats yeah. and uh, of course this this boy here, you know, back home, they don't know how to pronounce your last name. Mm. They're struggling up north. <laughs> you know what I mean? They struggle a lot, no. They do. They do. <laughs> so what's the deal, man? Why aren't you fishing this thing? <laughs> uh -huh. well, I tell you, man, I'm here in the Triton booth working the, the Expo at the Bassmaster Classic. 
I should be fishing the classic. Mm -hmm. I should be on that stage right now, but unfortunately, I missed it by one point, one spot. Right. I'm the first man out on the Bassmaster Classic this year. You know, toward the end of the season, I'm in the classic, I'm out of the classic. In the classic, out of the classic. Uh -huh. I mean, it was a very emotional up and down roller coaster season. So, but it came down to the last way at the last event at, at Mille Lacs. And uh, I tell you, unfortunately, I'm here. Do you know, is it a Triton fish boat. that puts you out? Or is it, what happened? Man, you know, I can't really point to one particular thing because there's a lot of them. Right. You know, throughout the, the year, we had I had 10 events. And there was several times each event where I could have, you know, had a better finish, a couple of places here, a couple of places there. Right. So it, co it comes down to a fish loss, a, um, a bad decision, a break off. Um, you know, there's just a number of things that went on throughout the season that really put me in that position. And you know what's crazy? From from 40th place to 41st, I finished in 41st, and 40th place was the last man in. Sure. You, you would think over 10 tournaments, the, the spread will be a lot more yeah, right. points-wise. But it come down to one point, one particular point, one point. If I would have had one point more, I would have tied with the man in front of me, and I would have won the tie break. Really? And I'd be finishing the fishing tie, the Bass sure. Classic today. I'd be going around in that baseball field right, right now, right. holding up those big giant Conroe <laughs> fish. But unfortunately, I'm selling Triton boats today, trying to uh, enjoy the show, the expo, and uh, here we are. What do I got? Huh? What do I got? What you got? What you do? I got nothing. Nothing. I got That's nothing. Water. Water's back. Uh-oh, uh -oh. walleye talk. Walleye talk. Oh, look out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, Adrian's some shit here. It ought to be good. The man, the myth, the legend is in the house. What's going on, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Get the heck out of here. What are you boys doing? We're just hanging out. Hanging out. Hey, I need some spots on the Susquehanna Flats. Can you help me out on that? Dude, dude honestly, you know, you need to launch in Northeast Creek. You need to put your trolling motor down, and you need to fish for retreads. You know, you might catch one, dude. It might be like five pounds, but it's going to have like five hook holes in its mouth. You know, but that's where the big ones live, you know? That's a pretty good tip. You that's what it, it is. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're with Zell here, and we want to know some tips here on the pop bar, right? Like, don't just say pop it, right? What do we got to do? How you chug make... it. <laughs> chug it. <laughs> Being from up north, you know how to chug I it. I do know how. <laughs> so what's the deal? You got a new bait out, right? You want to talk about that? I'll tell you, it's pretty awesome. All right. I All right. know how you are. Yeah, I love You'd kill your mother for this. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we call the booyah crack. Right. And what I did was I took a cell pop, which is now called a booyah boss. Yeah, I put a crankbait in. Really? It's bad. Okay. <laughs> it's bad. I Don't get you. one. No time soon. Right, right. There you go. You, you heard it first. Uh, but uh, awesome. it's awesome. Yeah. Is it really? Swims. All right, I guess Matt was hungry for a pretzel. We got a pretzel. That's a pretzel. We got a pretzel. Look at that thing. That's my hand. Dang, bro. Look at that pretzel. That's a big old pretzel. Mm-hmm. It's lunch break for us. I'm gonna get a nacho. Yeah, I got a little nacho, all non-GMO and stuff. Uh, so here we are. We're gonna go find Spawner because Spawner wants us to hand out thunder sticks to everyone. And uh, I'll give him a thunder stick. We're gonna give him a couple thunder sticks. Gonna give you instructions, guys, and then we'll get it going. Walk well, my hands in the air like I just don't care. So confused. <laughs> Spawner's confusing us today. Let's oh. <laughs> take a look at the uh, crowd here. Matt, you wanna you wanna go walk out and see whatever what's going on? Yeah, I'm uh I'm over this. We just done handed out about uh, four hundred thousand thousand. Let's go look at the uh crowds out here and see. Cause I'm about fixing to go get a drink here. I heard that they're overworked and underpaid. That's right. <laughs> 
Ladies and gentlemen, just a quick reminder, we have got work We're going to deal with this tomorrow. Very, very close, as a Classic together. Out that sad day crowd. Many, many years. But welcome, A. Donald James, to his very first Geico Bass Master Classic. No, not at all. Oh. I talk. <laughs> you love your I, I fish. Yeah. Uh, I work. Yeah. So this is a this is what we got. This is what we got. And I simply wanted Matt to go up and see if we could get a to-go cup. Let's see how that goes. And he won't do it. Rod. And Travis won't do it either. Connor won't do it either. What are we doing? I don't know.